Hi guys, hope everybody is doing really well today. Um, this is a tool haul from my mate's warehouse. A, um, I went to Newark sort of auto jumble a couple of days ago and I borrowed one of his big plastic crates, really high quality crates, what he uses to stock, store his stock. Um, so I thought I'd return it. And while I was returning it, um, I thought it'd be rude not to have a look. Now he's dug out some, dug, dug out a lot of stock. I could see what was behind it. There was a couple of extra boxes and a couple of toolboxes. So I thought I'll have a little look and see if there's anything interesting, um, which there was. There was a couple of bits. So um, some bits are for me and some bits are not, but I just grabbed some general bits to make a tool haul. Um, I didn't pay for any of this. Um, I bought him a dinner. So you've got to guess the price of the dinner. Um, and the closest guess of the price of the dinner wins so basically that's it so so i bought him a nice dinner and that was the price and you have to guess the price of what the dinner cost right so the first thing is this wooden scraper um i've got quite a few but i've not got one this wide um it's a, a decent old size it's a four inch um scraper so yeah it's quite a modern one but it's a roebuck and a roebuck um decent make so this will be a user to so go in the scraper drawer. A little bit sharp, actually. A little bit sharp. Could do with re... It's not been sanded to the highest. It could definitely be improved, the feel of it. But nice scraper, nonetheless. Um, this is one of my favourite items. This is a Ding Dong Junior Hacksaw made in England. I did get a big Ding Dong saw, but I gave it away to my buddy um chris and bodge but this is a uh, junior hacksaw little little jobby i thought that was a bit of fun so i'll grab that we've got a raft bone ray bone whatever um sort of square um i don't think it's got a scribe it's just it's just a square seems to be in okay condition um just needs a good clean up really made in england j raybone and sons birmingham england so a bit of fun a bit of fun we've got a boxwood rule it's got a chunk taken out of it there on that side um and it's got a bit of a chunk there this is also a raybone i don't know if you can see raybone but i thought i'd give it a go I'd give it a home i do like wooden rules i don't know why we've got a little pair of scissors um I just like the design on the inside. Almost looked like it had a nut crack. That was like a nutcracker or something. Um, kind of a nice looking pair of scissors. That almost looks like a tin opener or something. It looks almost like a multi-tool, but not quite sure if what it is like, but a bit of fun. So yeah, nice pair of scissors. We got this um hundred foot rule, Sheffield, England, Chesterman. There we go, you can see it. I don't know if you can see it there. Sheffield england uh, chesterman um, and it actually looks to be it's a steel rule and it looks to be in good condition um what does that say can we read that one it says 10 pounds pull 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 strength and then obviously you can flip i think you can flip this open to i don't know I'm sure that flips there's a pair of there we go that might do it does that flip that way? Oh, that flips up. That's quite complicated. And then this flips out. <laughs> so this flips out, winds in, and then flips. This winds back into there, and then that flips. Well, that's kind of cool. So another rule, another rule. I got this for my buddy Jim. Um, he likes big spanners. This is a Brit tool um, made in England. Uh, 36 mil good old spanner so jim I'll, I'll put that in jim's parcel for the next time i ship to jim and um, we've got this little made in sweden um phillips large phillips backhoe which is the reason i picked it up um little phillips screwdriver sort of a stubby sort of a stubby uh you know tight access area i got these little king dick um finger wrenches i'm sure jack's got some of these so i bought these for jack so i don't know if jack's got these specific sizes 
but if not they'll, they'll go to jack for his king dick box so jim jack possibly i might give this to chris if he hasn't got one but yeah so just general junk really um i got this which is one of the better items this is a um looks to be quite good order um starrett don't know if you can see a starrett micrometer maybe you can see there l s starrett micrometer nice one in the original box so that was nice um bit of fun we got this rather cool ratchet um it says there depose france so and it's some sort of french ratchet but it looks like you could probably put like a tap in it or something uh, for tapping that's what i think it is i think it's a tapping ratchet might be mistaken but i don't know um but i thought it's a bit of fun nonetheless so i'll give this a good clean and that'll go um in a drawer and forget about it um and then the, the other thing we've got here it says on here it says foreign but i just really like the sort of um fretwork on the handle um it looks really nice and i like the red so that's the only reason i picked that one out um also doesn't have a scribe built in i don't think it's the highest quality but i just liked the um the red i thought the red was really nice so that's the reason i picked that up so there's a few little bits nothing over the top just interesting items old tools all well made all interesting items um i think my favorite item of all the items is this foreign set square with the uh, sort of unusual handle i just it just captures i just quite like the color of that um i think my number two is probably this um ding dong junior hacksaw i thought that's a bit of fun um and i think that's rather nice quality especially with the handle where you just flip it and then flip it around that's quite quite a nice mechanism that so yeah some some nice items there put in the comments which is your favorite item and um, which one would you choose if you could pick one um, and also um put in the um the comments um, um how much you think i paid for it basically he said i bought him dinner so how much do you think dinner cost that's your guess all right take care have a great day bye